Looking forward to it, Ava. And right now, we want to get right into our next guest. This is a guest that has been known to be especially loud and has demonstrated some talent as a painter. We've got Ollie, the eclectic, eclectus parrot here from the Greenville Zoo, along with Maxine Van Dam. Thank you so much for bringing Ollie. Thank you for being here. Yes, of course. We're happy to be here. Yes, this is Ollie, and he's a eclectus parrot. He's a species that originally originates from uh, the Solomon Islands, so mm -hmm. a rainforest habitat, which is why he has such a great green color. And uh, you said, you know, He's a bit of a painter as well. Um, I'm not sure if he'll try that for us in the course of it, but they, they've got some personality, these parrots. Yes, so they have a lot of really good color vision. Mm -hmm. um, and with his striking color, all the males of his species are bright green, but the females are an intense red. And so he's really attuned to different types of colors, but most of the predators in their area are red, green, colorblind. So yeah. they're able to still camouflage, but he's very attracted to different colors, reds especially. And uh, we were talking about the behavior because everybody's curious, you know, is he saying any words? And you say he'll actually mimic the, the, the radios and the things that he's hearing all the time at the zoo. Yeah, so they will mimic. They don't talk like you and me are talking right now, but they have the ability to make a wide range of sounds. And a lot of times it's to get our attention. Just like in the wild, they would be basically mimicking the sounds that are in their surroundings and other parrots. And he's uh, the eclectic parrot, one of the most uh, popular bird kept in activity in captivity because easy to breed but difficult to hand feed is that true um yeah so they are a really popular pet in the animal trade however they can live for a really long time yeah. and so ollie's visit um and tra travels to the zoo actually came because he was a pet but because they can live so long and they can be noisy and they have specialized care a lot of the times then they do end up at places like the zoo though mm -hmm. we are happy that ollie here is with us well like any artist he may or may not feel like doing some painting but how would would that work? It looks like he's got a contraption so, ready. So we do a couple different training behaviors and at Every time we ask for a behavior, we're not going to make him do something. We're going to request, but he seems a little bit interested already. So we'll say Ollie paint. And when he touches that brush, anytime he does it at all, we are going to then reward that behavior. Yeah. Now, the reason that we ask him to do that isn't just because it'll make a pretty picture and he does have some you know, a good repertoire of artwork. It's because then we can then measure his dexterity, his mobility, we can get up close if we have to do a procedure, or we need him to be distracted. It makes it so that it's a healthy way for us to interact, mostly for medical reasons. And, uh, you know, when he gets that okay. paintbrush in his beak, he pushes it, he knows he's created something. He's, uh... He's aware of that. Yeah, so he does like to then take a look at his artwork. Yeah. Um, one of his <laughs> more recent <laughs> pieces. He's Wait. like, if I push the paintbrush, I get the tree. Uh -huh. um, and depending on the colors, we see him interact a little bit more, a little bit less. Yeah. So he's got a blue color today. We'll see Ollie paint. Paint if and you feel like it. Ollie paint. There we go. Once he starts to interact with that paintbrush, then we'll give him that treat. He must be a real hit as an ambassador as the kids come to the zoo and, and want to learn more about the species. Yes, he does a lot of really uh, great programs for us, and we're able then to show different training behaviors beyond just painting. So a lot of times we'll have the kids help learn how to do operant conditioning training. So we'll ask them to do things like, Ollie, can you show me your foot? And then he'll raise his foot there so that those kids can learn about positive negative reinforcement and they can then apply that to when they are working with their pets at home or even when they're working with their siblings a yeah. lot of the time too. Yeah, reinforcement works in a million ways. The, um, and, and you never pick favorites, but, but what makes Ollie special to you as somebody who gets to work so closely with all these animals? The fact that he is so eager to train Ollie yeah. Foot. There we go. He does know his left from his right. Does make it so that he's a really great parrot to work with because he's eager. He wants to come out. He likes that social ability. So when we have our animals choose to go on programs or not, he is one who's like, pick me, pick me. I'm ready to go. Let me go meet the kids. Let me um, go in. <laughs> May I touch him? Um, so you will, if you touch him, you're distracting his training behavior. Oh, I'm sorry. So right now, if we have him come back over here, he thinks you're going to train. So you can do an ollie foot. And then do that. But what I can't have you do is do a target with him. Okay. So you're going to say Ollie target and you're going to hold this up and he mm -hmm. wants to put his beak on it. I'll put it towards the camera on this side over here. Ollie target. There we go. And then we're going to give He's him that star. positive reinforcement. So that's what we do with a lot of our kids that come. We have that's them start cool. with that training behavior, but then we can transfer that, which is how we've done that for that paintbrush. So There's he's learned such, to target. Such smart animals and, and you know, you, you 
have all this great uh, training and you work with them so closely at the zoo. People love meeting all the animals and we want to put up the information about holidays at the zoo real yes. quick because that's an event that, that t tickets are on sale now for it, right? Yes, and tickets are selling out fast. So please, if you're interested in having the best time looking at holiday lights at our gorgeous zoo that is very animal themed, um, it's starting on the 15th. Please come out and see our lights and our animals. Well, I hope I'm not ruining all the training <laughs> right now, but um, Ollie is incredible. Maxine, thank you so much for being here and, and, and bringing us. Ollie, we appreciate it. <laughs> of course.